Thank you so much for that wonderful introduction. Good evening. It, it is a pleasure to be in this room full of dedicated people who really want to improve the life of women and girls. I am honored to be here with all the other distinguished honorees. I'm also really delighted that my daughter Daniela, her boyfriend Kieran, my son Gabriel, <laughs> and his girlfriend, Menka, are here with me. Um, they came from Washington, D.C. Um, thank you to the Young Women Foundation, and particularly Anna Oliveira, for this honor. It has been a privilege collaborating with the foundation and with Anna over so many years. I serve under Anna's leadership in two major projects undertaken on behalf of the city. The New York City Commission for Lesbian, Gay, Bisexual, Transgender, and Questioning Runaway and Homeless Youth, <laughs> and the, um, the City Council Young Women's Initiative. <laughs> These initiatives, among many others, demonstrate that the foundation is an amazing catalyst and, age, and change agent. The foundation's philanthropy is unique. In addition to providing financial support, the foundation also ensures capacity building and sharing of knowledge to strengthen and sustain their partnership over time. The foundation work is directly aligned with my work at the Mount Sinai Adolescent Health Center, where we serve over 10,000 young people every year for free. They are ages 10 to 24. Eighty percent of our patients are young women of color. Both organizations are committed to the empowering of young women, amplifying their voices, and supporting their evolution as leaders. As I accept this honor, I must share with you that I was a young woman just like those held by the foundation. I was a depressed teenager who was a high school dropout, who was healed and whose life was transformed by the Mount Sinai Adolescent Health Center the same program that I now run. This is a program that is supported by philanthropy, including the New York Women's Foundation. Thank you for that. The Mount Sinai Adolescent Health Center helped me return back to high school, graduate, and really develop a foundation to make me able to become a doctor, a doctor intent in giving back. Investing in young, vulnerable women, helping them develop skills and confidence, building them as leaders, is one of the most worthwhile investments our society can make. When you invest in women, young women and girls, you help create the fabric that sustains them. This investment radiates out strengthening families and building stronger and more vibrant communities. When you invest in women, your investment goes a long way. Thank you so much for this honor. Yeah. 